Water is essential, and when we need it, we expect it to be in the faucet, in the swimming pool, or in the pond for the cows. The real story is that water molecules do not stay in one place. They're always on a journey. The water cycle, also called hydrologic cycle, has no beginning or end. It is a continuous cycle that was created with this planet and is one of the properties that make life possible on Earth. To talk about the cycle, we must start somewhere. Let's start with rain coming from the skies. The rain falls down to the ground. Some of it runs off to nearby waterways, and some of the water goes into the ground to ground water storage areas called aquifers. The journey to the aquifer takes the water down the hillside, over the plants, and through the soil or rock interiors of the earth. This works to purify the water from the contamination received above ground. The underground water comes to the surface again through springs, or when we drill wells and bring it to the surface. We know the water evaporates because we see evidence of that every day. Water also transpires from the plants. The water continues on the journey back to the sky to fall as rain again on another day. This is the great journey and it would be nice to end the story here because it sounds like we will always have all the pure water that we need. But that is not the end of the story. The real important information about water is availability. Only 1% of water now and forever is available for us to use. 97% is in the salty oceans and 2% is frozen at the poles. 1% is not much. So what do we do with our 1%? Do we think of it as a precious resource? Not most of the time. Let's have a look at what we do with our water. We use more than we really need. Did you know that the average person uses more than 70 gallons of water per day? Yes, even here in Southwest Missouri. We disrupt the normal purification system. If we look at our towns, we see lots of concrete these days. The rain falls on the concrete, it washes over the concrete and goes directly into the storm drain and then the nearest stream. There is no natural purification on this journey. We add our own brand of contamination to the system. We populate the countryside with animal feeding operations with concentrated wastes. We use pesticides indiscriminately. Every location populated by humans has leftover litter from our disposable society. Lastly, the planet's population is increasing, so the 1% is now shared by a lot more people. We have stretched the water cycle even in our area of Missouri. Isolated local groups are starting to worry about having enough good water in our near future. And what is our future? At some point, water may become a precious commodity. That is going to be a very different world than we know today. Okay, we don't like this picture, so let's take action. Let's turn off the faucet when not using the water. Let's not use two bags of fertilizer on our lawn, and then cut the grass so short that it just runs into the storm drain and directly to our streams. Let's pick up our trash so it doesn't find its way into the streams as well. Let's be so happy that we live in southwest Missouri with wonderful water recreational opportunities like swimming, boating, and fishing that we want to preserve them for the next generation. These are the choices that every citizen must make. Please think about one change you can make in your life to make a difference to our water future here in this corner of Missouri. This has been presented by the Environmental Task Force of Jasper and Newton Counties.